Hey everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video I am going to show you how to make a cute little coffee mug, but I am actually going to be using the Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl on my Explore Air 2. I've had quite a few questions on if you can cut the Smart Vinyl on the bigger machine, so I thought it would be fun to do a video all about that. So a couple times I can think about why you may want to do this would be, um, let's say you have the Joy, but you also have a bigger machine as well, and maybe you're crafting with your bigger machine and using some other full-size materials but you want to use um, a smart vinyl with the other materials as well maybe you have a color in mind that you want to use so I'm going to show you how you can still use that and then another time I was thinking you may want to um, use a smart material on your bigger machine is maybe you find some of the smart material on sale so that's always really neat too because if you find a good price on smart vinyl but you don't have the joy and you want to know if you can still use it with your bigger machine then this tutorial may come in handy for you so I'm going to put a cute little design on my coffee mug I'm going to use three different colors and I was going to do this light pink and then I think this is called petal and then I think this is pale blue but I'll link them below I cannot remember the um, specific colors but I'll link them for you I'm gonna use the Cricut Joy transfer tape and then I'm gonna use my weeding tool and a little scraper tool I'm gonna use my paper trimmer just to cut all of my materials down to size to feed through the machine and then I'm also going to use my blue light grip mat I think that is all that I have, but make sure you're always checking the description box below because I will always link everything that I use in the tutorial so you can easily find it. All right, everyone, let's get started. Make sure you're subscribed. We have some fun things coming up to the channel, and I cannot wait to show you what is going to be coming this fall. So let's hop into Design Space. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to be using this really cute image. It says, Be Fearless with a little bumblebee. I thought it would be really cute for a coffee mug, and I'll link it below in case you want to see where I purchased it from, in case you want to recreate this look at your own craft table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to ungroup my design, and I am going to color code which um, pieces are going to go in which color. So the B and the Fearless are going to be in that bright pink, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab the selected layers that I want to color and then the two vine pieces are actually going to be in a lighter pink so I'm just going to grab a pink go to advanced and just make that a lighter pink and then the bottom vine will be that light pink as well and then our final piece which is the bumblebee is going to be let's see we'll do a blue it's gonna be that pale blue Okay, so I think that will look really, really sweet. So now what I need to do is I need to size this for my coffee mug. Okay, so I am going to select everything and then I am going to just bring this down to about three inches in length this way. So I'm just focusing on that top number. I'll do three inches. I will make my height about 2.8, which is just fine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am just going to attach my colors together so that they cut together. It'll just make everything easier when it's time to place them on my cup. So I'm gonna grab the pink pieces and selecting command on my Mac keyboard, I'm just gonna grab the B and the Fearless, that they're together, and I'm gonna come down and attach them. That way they cut in this same fashion on the cutting mat. And I'm gonna grab my light pink pieces, one and two. You can verify over here that those are the only two selected because they're the only two highlighted. And then I'm gonna come down and attach them right here. Okay, so now I'm all set to go. I can come over here and select my Cricut Explore, and I can say make it. So I'm gonna do this on my Explore Air 2, and it's going to to divide it up by matte colors so I have my bright pink and then I have my vines on the light pink and then I have my little bumblebee so they're all set to go that's why I attached those together so that they would cut exactly like they were in the design so that I didn't have to do a guessing game on where to place those okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and click continue it's gonna locate my air Okay, so now it's just gonna locate our Air 2, and then what we can do is we can browse our materials. So I'm gonna browse on materials, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to vinyl, and you'll notice when we get there that there are not um, any smart vinyl settings in this setting because we are in the Explore Air 2 mode of design space. So they don't include those because those 
materials are not made for the bare machines, but you can still cut them on them. So I'm going to go ahead and select the premium bindle because that is the closest and I'll select done and we will go ahead and load our mat. So I'm going to show you specifically how to load your mat so that it cuts perfectly on the Explorer 2. Okay, so I have my little pieces here ready to go, and I thought of another time you might want to cut smart materials on a larger machine, is if you have some smart material scraps that you want to use and you're currently crafting with your bigger machine, then you might wanna know how to cut them as well on a bigger machine. So one of the biggest things that you want to remember for this is if you are using smart materials on your bigger machine, you're gonna load it on your mat and place it on your mat differently. So the smart materials come with their own cutting mat, which is this white part that comes further than the vinyl and what that allows it to do is it allows you to feed it through the joy without putting it on an actual mat so what you want to do when placing it on a mat is in order for it to cut in the vinyl sections you want to make sure that white piece comes off of the mat so you want to line it up so that the vinyl lines up with the mat but the cutting corner comes off of the mat if that makes sense so you want to make sure that this white part falls outside of the cutting parameters so I'm going to go ahead and place that on my mat just like this but I'm going to make sure right up here that that white part falls outside of the grid lines because if you put it in the grid lines just like this if you line it up just like this then it's going to cut your design onto the white part where there's no vinyl and then that would be no good so just make sure you do that another thing is if you don't want to remember how to do that you could just cut that off you could cut the little white parts off and then you could place it on the mat however you'd like so I am going to just line the white part outside of the cutting area and I will be all good to load this first one into my machine so I'll go ahead and open my machine up and we'll get it loaded Okay, so I'm unloading that first piece and then I'm going to go ahead and line up my next piece. Again, making sure the white part falls outside of the grid lines so that it doesn't cut on the white cutting mat, but it only cuts on the vinyl. So while this is cutting out our designs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a little cotton swab and I'm just going to make sure that the surface of my mug is nice and clean and I'm just focusing on the area where I'm going to be placing my design. Just make sure there's no dirt or oils from hands that are left on the surface so our vinyl will lay down just nice and smoothly. Okay, and for a visual, what I was saying with this final piece is if you have a hard time remembering how to line it up, what you could do is you could just cut off that extra cutting um, mat that comes on the side and you could just place this like you would normal vinyl, not having to worry how to line it up. You could place it right on the mat just like that, line it up and put it through your machine. Okay, so all of our pieces are ready to go and on this pink one, I'm just going to cut some of that extra vinyl off while allowing those two pieces to stay attached. But there's a good um, little square that I can keep for another project. So I wanna make sure I save as much as I can. So now I'm just going to grab my little pieces. I like to go ahead and just scrape down the back before I start weeding. And then I'm gonna grab my little weeding tool and I will start removing the background first and you will see that it cuts just perfectly on that premium vinyl setting. So very easy to cut that smart vinyl on a bigger machine if you would like to. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through and make sure that I can get all the little middle pieces out of this design and it weeds perfectly. We have a really good cut. Okay, so that first little piece is all ready to go. So we can go ahead and weed our next piece. So let's go ahead and do the little bumblebee. So the bumblebee is in this nice blue color. It's one of my favorites to craft with. I love this color. So that's why also that I like to be able to have that freedom to cut um, the joy material on any machine I'm using, just in case I am using a bigger machine for a certain project, but I also want to use a color that you know is a joy color or that I have on hand in a joy roll. Um, so that's also nice to know as well. That little bumblebee turned out so sweet. Okay, and then our last little piece is just these little vines. So these are gonna be really cute as well. So now when it comes time to put this on my coffee mug, I'm going to make sure, I guess I didn't rub back the backs of these down, but they're doing a good job. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have my design all up in design space 
so that I can make sure I know how to line up my three layers to make the final look on my mug. And then I think I just need to weed out the inside of this little flower and I am good to go. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just bring our little mug in here and I am going to do it on this side because I'm right handed and I sit my copy this way so I want to be able to see mine. Now you can duplicate your project and then you can do it on the other side as well and have it on both sides as well. So it's just personal preference and up to you. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of my Joy Transfer Tape. I really like the Cricut Joy Transfer Tape for the Smart Vinyl because um, I feel like it helps get the Smart Vinyl up off of the cutting mat easier. Um, so that's why I'm going to choose this. And it looks like I have a really good extra piece that I had used from another project um, left over. So I'm going to use that little piece here. And I'm going to start with this first one right here this little bee fearless. I'm just going to lay that right down and I'm going to scrape and scrape the back. And then I am going to, while it's still flipped upside down, I'm just going to keep my weeding tool handy and peel up the cutting mat so that it leaves the vinyl right on the transfer tape. Sometimes you just need to help nudge it along, but once you give it a little nudge, it usually comes off really, really nicely. Okay, so that is off very nicely, and I'm going to get my little mug all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a little towel in here, and I'm just going to kind of roll up one little end of it and place my mug on it so that it ends up sitting straight and it can just sit there nicely for me. Okay, so now that that's there, I am going to also go ahead and go through my design. Let's see, it's actually, I was going to put little cuts in there, but I think I'm actually going to be good without it because this isn't too much of a curved surface. Um, it's curved, but it's not curved both ways. It's kind of just curved one way, so I think I can do it without doing any cut lines. I will link a tutorial on why I do the slip marks on certain mugs up in the corner in case you have a very curved mug um, and then it'll be helpful to see how you can still apply really really straightly on your mug your design. Okay there we go. I think that looks really good. Okay so I'm just going to take my finger first and just start rubbing and then just helping those little pieces lay down that looks great and this way as well okay and then I take my little scraper tool and just really press down and then I can just grab a little corner and peel off the transfer tape leaving my design on the mug and that is our first little layer okay so now I can take my transfer tape and reuse that and it's big enough to go on my second little piece here so I'm just gonna place it and a little bit of my design falls outside of the transfer tape but that's okay as long as most of your design is on the transfer tape in my opinion um, it works really well but if you're more comfortable getting the exact size then go ahead but it's a really nice way to reuse your materials okay so then I'm gonna flip it over do the back and once again just peel this up off of okay so it is all ready to go and now I can just line it up where it goes it's right about here looks great and I'll lay it right down again with my finger I'll just start kind of placing it and rubbing it where it goes grab my scraper and just reinforce that with a little bit more pressure. It's cute, I love the colors together. Okay, and then I can just peel up my transfer tape, leaving the design on the mug. Very, very cute. Okay, and then I have my final little piece, so I'll just grab my little bumblebee here, and I can cut down my transfer tape at this point. So I was able to use a single piece of transfer tape that actually was uh, saved from a different project so that is great and then I got to use it on all three layers which is wonderful 
So very inexpensive project because there was a lot of um, vinyl, but there was li little quantities of it. So that was nice too. So this is a great opportunity to use some little scrap pieces that you have laying around. And I don't know about you, but I have a ton of scrap pieces. So I'm always looking for projects that I can use those pieces on because I hate to throw anything away. Okay, so I'm just going to peel off that little bumblebee from the cutting mat. It's on my transfer tape, and then I can just place that right on my mug. Okay, so sweet. Okay, again, reinforcing it with my scraper just to make sure I don't have any bubbles under my vinyl. And peeling off the transfer tape, and there we go. All right, so that's a really quick little project, really fun, but I hope that showed you how you can easily cut your smart vinyl on a bigger machine if you choose to do so. If you enjoyed this and thought that this turned out really cute, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, and please be sure you're subscribed because we have a lot of fun things coming up and I can't wait to show you. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video.